Hello, I'm Lori Hacking. My story is one that took an unexpected turn, spiraling from a normal morning jog into a web of lies, betrayal, and tragedy that shocked not just my loved ones, but the entire world. In July of 2004, the city of Salt Lake became the backdrop for a story that would forever change the lives of those involved. On that fateful day, July 19, 2004, I woke up with plans for a regular morning. I had a demanding job as a stockbroker, and my mornings often began with an early jog through the scenic streets of Salt Lake City. This particular morning was no different. I had planned to rise around 5 a.m. for a run, return home, get ready for work, and my husband Mark would then drop me off at the office by 7 a.m. As the sun began to rise, Mark woke up to find me missing from our home. He had overslept, a minor hiccup that would soon turn into a significant detail in the unfolding story. Thinking that I had returned from my jog, Mark carried on with his morning routine, oblivious to the fact that my disappearance was about to become an international headline. Around 9 a.m., the truth hit him. I hadn't returned, and a wave of concern gripped him. A call to my workplace confirmed my absence, and the sight of my neatly arranged work clothes at home became an unsettling sign that something was amiss. Mark's worry grew, and he called the police, but they advised him to wait for 24 hours before filing a missing person report. Despite the police's initial hesitation, Mark's determination led him to retrace my usual jogging route. There, he found my car parked exactly where I usually left it. But something was off. I was nowhere to be found. The day turned into a frenzy of search efforts by friends, family, colleagues, and law enforcement. What followed was a heart-wrenching ordeal that exposed a husband's dark secrets and a trail of lies that had been hidden behind a facade of happiness. You see, behind closed doors, Mark and I seemed like the perfect couple. He showered me with gifts sending flowers to my workplace, and maintaining a facade of happiness that fooled everyone around us. However, the truth about Mark's educational background and aspirations was about to unravel, revealing a man driven by deceit. As investigators delved deeper into our lives, it became clear that Mark had been leading a double life. His claims of attending medical school were nothing more than elaborate fabrications, he had deceived not only me but our families and friends. This intricate web of lies unraveled further as they discovered he had dropped out of medical school, never even attending the University of Utah. The shockwaves of his lies were amplified by the news of my pregnancy. Mark and I were excitedly planning a move to North Carolina, where he would pursue his medical studies. But it was all based on a lie. The truth, that he hadn't even applied to medical school, was a crushing blow. And while we appeared happy, the truth was far darker than anyone could have imagined. Mark's web of deceit didn't stop there. He had managed to fabricate an entire existence, fooling even those closest to us. He used false claims to cover up his failures, weaving tales that painted a picture of success and potential. He had convinced my mother to help him with term papers, and I, like everyone else, was kept in the dark about his lies. The investigation intensified, casting a spotlight on Mark as the prime suspect. Inconsistencies in his narrative began to emerge. My car's adjustments didn't match my stature, and traces of blood were discovered. It was becoming evident that his carefully constructed facade was crumbling, revealing a side of him I had never known. As suspicions grew, Mark's behavior took an even darker turn. He was found running around a hotel naked, a sign of the mental unraveling that was taking place within him. The pieces of the puzzle were falling into place, pointing towards a sinister truth that would leave everyone stunned. And then, the truth emerged. Mark confessed to his family, revealing the harrowing details of my final moments. The arguments that had brewed beneath the surface erupted into a horrifying act of violence. He shot me in a fit of rage while I lay asleep in our bed. The confession shattered the illusion of our perfect marriage, revealing a dark reality that I had never seen coming. The search for my body led investigators to a landfill, where the remnants of my existence were found in a state of decay. My tombstone now bears my maiden name, 
a poignant decision by my family to distance me from the pain of Mark's actions. While my physical presence was lost forever, the emotional scars of this tragedy remain etched in the hearts of those who knew and loved me. This story serves as a stark reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and the truth behind closed doors can be far different from what the world sees. The layers of lies, betrayal, and the ultimate tragedy that unfolded are a haunting testament to the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of even the most seemingly perfect lives.